Yeah. <laughs> I don't even... This probably is a, a strange endeavor to get going on a Sunday. We're at Root Rot Ronnie's, friends. And uh, I'm, I've been cutting cedars down a lot recently and uh, because they're dying. We, we got, like we're in a big stand of second growth here right now. Friends, I need to know how, how the picture is because we're on data. We got no Wi-Fi out here. I need to talk to you before I get started here. How are things looking? How are things, can you hear me? Can you see me? I'm gonna plug you in with a battery. I'm gonna do my best, but we're strictly on data here right now. We may die. It may, it may calf. I hope not. Talk to me about the picture. Picture's good, looks great. Okay, well, we're hoping for the best here. I'm gonna go get a battery. So the tree is going in here beside the wood pile. So I'll show you, I just got started. It's a big freaking tree, friends. Like, I mean big. I've just opened up an undercut. You can tell by the size of the axes how big this tree is. Okay? I mean, here it is. It's big. Okay, so it's got a slight head lean to it. It's kind of got some weird action going here. But it's actually, it's going beside the wood pile. See, see, there's a light, slight head lean to it there. See that? It's dead. And it's about, it could be close to three feet on the stump. It's large. But I got to move the pickup, but I'm going to leave it there for a little bit while I get chopping. I'm going to get a battery hooked up on you guys. I brought an assortment of axes. Hey, Mark, Mac, thanks for the, thanks for the freaking uh, super chat, buddy. Tell all your friends, this doesn't happen very often. Get on your social media and tell your friends we're cutting trees down here. So there's the cedar. There's my, there's my killer axe, that guy, and this little guy. I wanna talk to you about bigger size axes. Where do you wanna spend your energy? With a big axe or a small axe for accuracy and longevity? We got a lot of chopping to do, friends. So I, I've only just started. I just got my undercut kinda faced up I tried a few axes to see what was gonna be best for me here so yeah I think a guy should probably uh, a guy should probably um, here I got a battery pack for us let's see here I probably am not going to have any, uh, yeah, no, I won't. Okay. So I got no way of talking to you besides the phone right here. So let's get this going. I'll be taking my shirt, uh, my Mac jacket off here right away, I can tell. I'm just going to go at this thing, friends, very easily. Thank you to our super chatters. I appreciate you. Uh, I don't want to stop a lot. I may stop and come and talk to you for a little bit, catch my breath. But I'm probably just going to keep moseying on through. Right, let's plug you guys in. Okay, so there we go. So you guys are plugged in. I think I should probably move the truck. I'd like to film this too. I wanna film it. So um, give me a sec, friends. You know what I'm saying? I kind of want to film this, friends, as well, for the channel. You know what I'm saying? You guys do, don't you? Yeah. I hope your days are going good. I hope you're feeling well. So if I use this camera, you see, I'm going to be able to film this. So it'll be part of our day. How, how, is, the, how is everything, friends? Is everything still good? Here, let me turn this around. So I can do this for just a minute or two. Kevin Jones, how are you, bud? There we go. Hey, this is good. Hey, we got super chatters. DKK, buddy, thanks. Super chat. Hey, this is working out not bad. Who's this character? Daniel Luther. Daniel, thank you, buddy. Appreciate you. Let me just get this set up. Dustin Phillips, keep on bucking. Babaloo, pictures great. Good, doing well. Bruce Manley, the mad scientist. Matt man, 
Brother Matt, man, I saw your freaking comment. Brother, I felt you. I had tears in my eyes reading your comment, buddy. I love you, Matt, man. I do, buddy. You've been here a long time, pal. You're a good man. Let's get this. Let's get this. I want to film it for the channel, friends, because once it's live, it's live, right? Cutting horse. How are you doing, bud? One love, Tyler Park says. You got that right. One love is right, brother. Big, big ups, big ups to Matt Man, friends. Big ups to Matt Mans. Love you, man. You're such a kind-hearted dude. Is that Sebastian? Sebastian, nice to see you, brother. Bryce, you're the best, he says. Gervit, this will be fun. Yeah, it's going to be a good one, buddy. It's going to be a good one. This is who I am, friends. This is who I am, right here, right now. Tim Woodger. Thank you, buddy. Okay, here we go. I should be able to film this pretty good. I don't have another cord. Oh, yeah. As a matter of fact, I do. Buck and Billy Ray. You smart character, you. Huh? Okay, so just hang, hang tough. I want to film this, friends. Okay. I'm going to move the truck. I could do a time lapse, but I don't believe I'm going to. I could just leave this right here like this. Video. There we go. That's good. Okay. Um, I'm not even gonna start any more of my undercut until I get this pickup out of the way. Because, because, um, who knows with this thing? It could calf on us, friends. And that would suck smashing my truck. So I'm gonna move it now and then come back. Let's go like this. I wanna try something here. I wanna also try something. I wanna try this ax. Yeah. Okay. This, this can stay here with us.
Okay. I figure we get uh I figure we get a couple cameras going friends and just do the best we can with whatever we got here. Maybe we'll You never know, right? There we go. Okay. So let's get you, hey, super chatters, look at that. Nathan, Nathan, what a fella. Thanks, buddy. Thank you. Okay. I wanna get you guys right in front here so you got a good, good shot here. How about that? Let's get you guys square here. I want everybody happy. Enjoy. I'll be back. Thank you to the super chatters. You guys may feel the ground shake. I'll come back and check on you in a minute or two. I'm going to play with a couple of different axes. For When I chop a tree down, friends, I don't come in straight. I don't come in straight. Does anybody know why I don't come in straight? And I don't come in straight off the back, neither. I notch my sides. I also brought this axe. This guy here.
Peter's got these flares, friends. And you can break your axe on them if you're not careful. So you've always got to have a spot to swing. Because if you, if you go over here and swing over here like this, you can catch your undercut right there and snap your axe in half. So you got to work around on a big tree. That's why two guys is nice. And then once you get your convex in here, especially if you're flat, the only way you can get in there, the only way you can get in there is keep coming off the top, right? Like this. But if you got, if you're angled like this, like a, you can go like this, right? See? Like this. See this? I'm going in deeper now. See? I love this axe. See? We're getting into the center now. So now I'll come off the top probably one more time. I'll notch my sides. Like this, I'll probably come in like this. Right? You guys still on? Okay, good. You guys see what I'm doing, right? Follow what I'm doing here. I'm gonna grab this ax for a minute. This is on a, this is a, this is a huge, this is probably my best chopping ax. See that thing? That's my Helco from Ish. I'm gonna take off my sides here a bit.
That's what I'm talking about right there. You gotta have this stuff off in front of you. Or you're gonna bust your axe. You will. See that? See what's going on? I need to get more in there. So once this is off, right? You just keep, just keep this off. See, now I got all that face to work on. And if I want, see this? There's the heart. Hear that? It's coming up nice. See, that, that's a weird handle, that one. It is. That's the Hoffman handle. I want to try a couple different axes. This is a, a Tazzy Dandy Nong, friends, okay? Thank you for the super chatters, friends. I see you in there. This is not necessarily a chopping axe, a good firewood splitting axe, but it's got a pretty good profile for like a semi chopper, okay? You can see what I'm doing, right, friends? I'm keeping all this out of my way. You don't notice it on a small tree, but on a big tree, you'll bust your ax, reaching for that far wood over there. You'll break it. I don't think this one will be. Actually, that's not bad. Actually, that's not bad at all. Okay, now, now, a lot of men I see on the internet use a boy's axe. This is a Canadian Ardent. See this? Ardent. This is a small little axe for finicky work. 28 inch handle, look at how sharp it is. This is a great little tool, friends, for this type of work, and it's sharp. Okay, so when you're getting you want something a little lighter? Look at this. See this little sucker? It works very, very nice. See this? A lot of guys, a lot of guys use these axes. Look, we're in the center now. Okay, so I'm actually gonna, I'm only gonna go a little further here.
See that right there? See that? That went in and cracked my handle right there. You gotta get that stuff off there. Okay, now, Okay, so this is what I'm talking about now. This is starting to open up and do a nice undercut. Trust me, you will break your axe. Okay. I like it. I like it. Can you open that direction up? I'm turning that tree now, out there now. How's everybody doing here? Hey, 20 minutes in. We're 20 minutes in the cut, friends. Okay, that's starting to look nice. Let's get you guys a good look at this. On a big white, friends, that's a 30 inch ax. That ax is 30 inches, so look at it. It's a 30 inch tree. These are Nick's boots, if you're wondering. Those are Nick's. The JKs did not work for me. They were way too fat in here. I couldn't get my spurs on. Uh, JK tried hard, friends, bless them, but they just, they just weren't my, they, do, they didn't work. Their fit was good. People ask me this question because I'm working with Nick's. They asked me this question about JK. I was very happy with JK's fit, but that was about it, to be honest. And I'm not, I'm not the guy to bang somebody up. 
That's not who I am. They just didn't work for what I do. The multiple things that I do. Climb. You guys watch the channel. I don't have to tell you what I do. They just didn't work. I felt vulnerable in them. Uh, and I, I, don't, I don't know why. I just, they, they just didn't work. Uh, they were like a snowshoe. I, thought I, I felt like I was wearing a snowshoe. Uh, but they all, they all come from the same camp, those companies. Don't think they don't. They all make wonderful boots. It's just when I put these on, when I put these suckers on, it's, they, they work. They just, they just work for me. Nick's boots, they work for me. Viberg, obviously I wore Viberg for 25 years. I get these questions asked to me all the time. And JK did not work. They just didn't. But they tried, and I appreciate them for that. Enough of that now. I'm hoping to be at least halfway through this tree by the time I start my back cut, which I am. I definitely am. I'll do a little bit of cleanup. I'll notch my sides. Now, I notch my sides for a reason. Look where this tree's got to go. <clears throat> right alongside of that wood paw. Right there. See that undercut? It's going right down there. See? Right alongside the wood pile. All right? So I'm gonna change positions for you guys now, I think. I might even put you guys, uh, might even put you guys here. Let me see if this works. I don't know. Let's take a few swings right here, friends. Hey, why not? So I'm gonna notch my sides. See that? I don't care how pretty my axe looks. This is so I can notch my sides without breaking my axe. Do you understand? Put you guys back here. I'm gonna notch the side now. Thank you for the super chats, friends. Appreciate you.
Now, every tree's different, right, friends? I've notched my sides, but what I've also done is I've, I've also left, because it's hollow in the center, right? It's hollow in the center, so if I notch my sides too far, guess what's gonna happen? It's gonna break off and go over towards that nice piece of machinery. We don't want that. So I'm coming in the back now. This thing's ready to go. I may do a little cleanup under there. It's about cutting the tree down, friends. I've never felt coming straight in is, is a benefit, never. I'm talking about your, your cut. I think people see stuff and they think, oh, that's the way to do that. I'm gonna do that. Well, okay, that's fine. That's fine. I think what I'm gonna do right now is switch you guys up. Hang on. Let's get that out of here. I'm thinking I'm gonna take this ax out here. Just hang on friends, okay? Okay. So I think what we're gonna do is I'm gonna get you guys over here. I'm gonna put you guys on the stand. You know, because I want you guys to have the best look. So I'm gonna put you guys right here. How do you feel about this? Let's swap stands for you guys, okay? You guys okay with that? How's that, friends? Is that okay? Talk to me. All right. Good. Good, good. I'm surprised at our freaking Wi-Fi or whatever you call it. Uh, data.
keep swinging over there, you'll break your axe on that middle hump right there. I think I just heard something.
You gotta watch these vines, friends. So, how long was that? Let's let's check. Feels like about 35, 40 minutes to chop that tree down. That's what it feels like. Let's have a look. Where's my other freaking camera? Well, how long was that? Because I pedaled around. What is it, an hour now? What do we got? Oh, it's only, yeah, it's an hour. So I played around for, I played around for an easy 15 minutes. Wouldn't you guys think so? Let's go get my camera. Not snapping those. So here's my camera. You see that? Hey, there's the property line right over there. Can I fire up my power saw now? Did we get it? Yeah, we did. So how long was that, friends? 40 minutes to cut that tree down? If I had to gone straight through, which I didn't really stop that much. That's, uh, that's a bit of chopping nonstop. I'm sweating. So... I feel like I kind of went fairly straight through it. What do you guys think? Huh? <laughs> yeah, thank you for the super chats, friends. I see it. there's a $10 super chat there. Thank you. I appreciate you. Those super chats are a big help. Does anybody want to go investigate that stump at all? We could run a little saw now, probably do a little bucket. I got to get it off the road anyway. You guys want to watch me fire up a hot rod power saw and, and do this or what? Up to you guys. So this stump, uh, this ax is 28 inches. Actually, it's longer. Look at, look at that. Look at that tree. Look at the, that, that's a, that's a 30 inch, I believe a 30 inch handle from Hoffman. That's a Hoffman handle. People ask me, Buckin, why don't you wear gloves? Do you, do you know what kind of shape my hands would be in right now if I didn't wear gloves? My hands would be ripped to shreds. And they're not. See those calluses right there? That one, that one, that one. It's because I don't wear gloves. So I hope that answers your question. Um, the reason I don't wear gloves is because I need to season my hands. 
If I have soft hands, I feel vulnerable, just like I did in JK's boots. Okay, that wasn't very nice. <laughs> but it is the truth. The only part, I, they came on pretty heavy saying they were going to blow Viberg out of the water and that got me, that just did not happen. Far from it actually, exactly the opposite. So you got to be careful how you run your business. And that's all I'll say about that. I'm going to get a power saw and we're going to start bucking that. Are you guys in? Are you comfortable? Talk to me right now, real quick. Let me know who's comfortable. I'm going to get a power saw. You guys ready? So we just cut a 30 inch tree down. That's 30 inches. And I cut just before we leave this, before we leave this scenario, okay? Um, that is a four pound ax I was chopping with right there. That is a four pound ax. I used a couple different axes. My undercut is way deeper than a third. It, 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 the, the reason people just do short undercuts is because they're hard to get at. You notice me struggling to get at a great big undercut like that. That's part of the reason. But I go half all the time and notch my sides and the tree always ends up where I want it to. It's not about how you look doing it or what, it's, what it looks like after. Except when you're on the side hill, your stump is your signature. Don't forget that. Listen, if you're playing with double bitted axes, if you're playing with double bitted axes out in the bush, friends, if you're, if you're doing, don't leave them like that around. Don't do it. Just go put them flat somewhere like this, flat on the ground. You could trip and fall and you could actually even die. I know that sounds crazy, but you could. You could bleed out somewhere. Look at these cedar limbs, friends. Look at this. Oh, look at this. I wish I could ship this to you. Look at freaking this.
we go, friends. Hey? <laughs> dry, dry cedar. So the first power saw is Iron Horse's 86cc saw, but it's got a skip tooth chain, hand file square by me, and it's been dusted. So the full house is way smoother in wood like this, way smoother, and it's square as well. But it's, uh, I've been cutting with that. I've got, did you guys see me pull that log out of the bush there the other day over there? Yeah. That was fun. Okay. Well, that was fun. So that, uh, that stump, again, friends, um, I go deep on my undercuts. When chopping a tree down, I go deep. So there's, there's a bunch of dead cedars in here, eh? I'm just trying to catch up on some comments here. Sorry, friends. So there, there's a bunch more in there, friends, that are like same, same deal, dead. Look at the stand of timber we're in, friends. Look at it in here. This is Root Rot's, Root Rot Ronnie's place, and it's glorious. I love it here. We got to thank Root Rot, friends. Look at the super chatters. We got to talk to these super chatters for a minute. Your, your guys' support is a big help. Just a minute. Who is this? Ethan Baker. Ethan Baker, thank you for your super chat. Oh, Mike Paterno. Mike. Hey, Buck. Have to buck by hand. Ha ha. Yeah, I know, buddy. I know. Tell me about it. Excuse me. Excuse me. So, root rots. I mean, what a, what a, what the heck was that? Yeah. Yeah, they're, they're everywhere. So check this out. This is where I come, where you guys see me in here all the time, right here. See? Hey, we got 518 people and 505, 512 people and 515 freaking thumbs up. I love you people. Thank you. So this is usually where I come in and I do all my firewood. So, so this was that last log we bucked that one day. I've still got some footage in here for you guys, gals, women, and children in here. That, that log went way, way out. Oh my goodness, the lost guy. The Lost 40, love you bucking, $19 super chat. Oh my goodness, thank you, buddy. Thank you for the super chat. Brother, thank you. See, these were trees I fell. They were, they were dead. There's that blowdown right there. Christine, I love you, darling. Yeah. So I saw somebody asking for a power saw. What, I don't know your name. I, it went by so fast. Somebody said, what should I buy for a power saw? Well, that kind of, it, it, it depends really what you're going to be doing, right? A power saw should be purchased for the wood you're going to be in. If you live somewhere and you've got small wood or a, or a property line, farm property line, Leon Shuffolovsky, I love you, buddy. Thank you for the super chat. Jeff Salisbury, good to see you. Conky, how are you? Jack Schneiden, you know what I mean? So... Cameron Hammer, I got your freaking lovely little gift in the in the mail. Thanks, buddy. I appreciate you. You guys want to see something that's funny that I deal with all the time and my wife hates it? Hey, is that one of those husky things? Yeah, it is. Don't leave home with one of them. Don't ever leave home without one of those. See how talented I am at getting stuff out of my hands and not losing anything? <laughs> hey, there's a technique to it. Look at that. I think I dropped one. I did right there. Darn humanness. Bucking inspired by you, man. Kyle Baker climbed my first tree yesterday. You make it look so easy. I do have a... Wow, Mark Gaines. Mark Gaines. Gainesies, we love you. Thank you guys so much for the super chats. Like, sincerely, thank you. 
Brother, uh, Kyle Baker, buddy, thank you. Sincerely, the, the, they help a ton, thank you. Jeff Salisbury, Christy, Mark, thank you, Christine. His comments are flying by. It's so hard to catch everybody's comments. I wish I could. Marty Rudder, good to see it. Look at, there's that same pocket. Look. Yeah, that's crazy. So, we did this the other day. We've been playing around in here. All I know how to do, friends, is run saw and get firewood and throw axes around. That's, that's, that's kind of, oh, that sounds nice. That's just what I do, right? So that's what a lot will be on the channel. Um, but we like to, I, I call it the sandbox. I've, I've got a sandbox here, right? You guys know about the sandbox that we have here. And, and it's for everybody. Don't matter your color, your religion, anything. I don't know the words, your creed, your religion, creed, you hear those words. It's, it's all one big box here, the sandbox. Nobody stands on the outskirts of my sandbox and looks in, nobody. Everybody comes in. And, and that's, that's how the world needs to be. And, and that's what I'm gonna go down swinging for. So you will, hear, you will hear me talking about that if you're new here. You will hear me talking about love. And, and all the good stuff. That, that's, that's what it's gonna be. Besides cutting wood, right? The peaceful logger, the hippie logger. Cat, shop cat, how are you, brother? Michael, white old timer. Christine, motorman. I got a picture so I can show him. Super good to see everybody today. We got 503 people, very nice. Buck and you're Love your content, thank you, hello. Wheats, 34, Wheats, good to see you. Marty Rudder, William DeBerry. Now there's some people we see. Chris Hill, good to see you. Joshua Johnson, William DeBerry. Yeah, the sandbox, that's right. That's that's what it is. You're the best you <laughs> Bryce, well, thank you, Bryce, but I, I don't look at it that way. Um, but thank you, Luke. Good to see you. The drifter. Hey, you know, <laughs> oh, we haven't done the drifter in a long, long time, friends. The drifter or Sven. I was thinking about Sven the other day, friends. Wow. <clears throat> Actually, I was watching some old videos, friends, and Sven was cutting a tree down. Billy says I can cut this tree down. He said, uh, I'm very honored that Billy said I could cut this one because uh, there's no foliage in the sky. Uh, <laughs> Remember that, friends? Yeah. Anyway, I got to clear the road, which will only take a minute. Um, so it's, you know, it's up to you guys. I mean, there's 500 and freaking 500 people here, but I got to clear this road. I got to kind of keep working. I just wanted to stop and, and talk to everybody for a minute and thank everybody. I mean, I don't have to do this right now, but it is a glorious day, friends. Just beautiful. This cedar's dying like mad. Wait till you see the one I cut down on, on, on the coming up on one of the next videos, friends. It was four and a half foot. Tanner Thomas. Tanner Thomas, good to see you. It was four and a half foot and it was dead. They're all dying. The cedars are dying. It's, I mean, they've been dying for years. They have been. They've been dying for years. But, uh, you know. <coughs> Excuse me. This is interesting cedar. Look. Look at this. I don't think I have a split axe with me but look at this look look at that that's nice kindling right so the only axe I think that would split this here let's have a look let's see where did I put my freaking tripod oh it's way over there I'm not going over there but I got another one here because I was smart today friends look see the hinge wood on this thing right there see that's where I notched my side, right there, and right, right there, and there's the hinge wood, right there, shaklank, right across the middle. Hey, let me get you guys square here. There, you know what I mean? Maybe we can. Maybe we can see something here. I don't know. Maybe we can. 
I don't know. The closest thing I have to a split nax is this thing. I was hoping this, this would be a nice splitting handle. Look at that, friends. See that? Whoosh, clunk. See, this wood doesn't split like that, friends. I'm telling you, it doesn't. You won't split it like that. You gotta, you gotta flick this stuff. Watch. See that? Look at that, friends. That's cedar for crying out loud. See that? That was a super duper flick. Like literally, it just, like it literally just tore it off the side. And actually there was a knot there. Look at that. Friends, it's, it's, it's no joke. It, this wood, when it gets dry, it's actually quite ugly. Oh, I see what I'm doing. The vortex. Not a chance. No way. All right. Okay, friends, I got to clean up. I don't know what I would do without the bush. 
I really don't. I think I'd almost, I'd have to find something. I don't know. I, I don't know what would happen to me. I, I'm going to end on this. And this is, you can take this right to the bank when I tell you this. Seriously, straight up. I'm telling you. When I got smashed back in 2006, and I was crawling out of the bush with a broken back and a snapped and leg in half, wobbling around, flapping out in front of me, not knowing if I was gonna walk actually again. I, I, I didn't know anything. This is the straight goods, and I tell you this without a, an ounce of embellishment. If anybody here has ever been through traumatic situation, you remember your mind moves so fast, you think about the craziest things, your family being one of them. I remember saying to myself, in the bush, crawling out. Will I, I wonder if I'll ever be able to do this, what I'm doing right now, hand splitting firewood. I wonder if I will ever be able to do this again. That's what was most important to me. Is that crazy or what? I don't think so. I don't think so. There's lots of slow motion uh, of that flick, buddy. Lots. Just get on the axe and start doing it. That's the only way you'll learn is just get on it. I Just go to my wood splitting videos. Go, go to my channel, hit videos, hit search, splitting, wood splitting with an axe, the flick. Just search it. You will find it and it will be in slow-mo. It will. It'll be there. It's there. It's, uh, you want to try and let go of the axe though, right? Yeah. Okay. Friends, I'm going to go. I can't believe we got away with this. This was fun, wasn't it? Give me a heck yeah if you enjoyed yourselves. I sure did. I'm feeling real good. I am. I'm feeling a super good. <laughs> Shop, good to see you. All right, good. Nice to see everybody today. Still got 482 people here. Wow, I love you people. Thanks again. Thanks to all our super chatters who helped out. Redfish, good to see you. Mike, Critter, there heck yeahs. I love the heck yeahs. Yeah, I love it. I love it. Thank you, sincerely, thank you. Love you guys. I love everybody here. Thank you all. We'll catch you back at the ranch. Bye, friends. Work hard. Be honest. And be kind, friends. Let's do this. Just do it. If you're having trouble being kind and you're having trouble, you know, not being judgmental, I, 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 I've got so far to go in life. I've got so much more to learn about myself and so much more love to have and dig for. I, I know it's in there. I know it's in there. I want to be more loving. I'm just going to keep digging. I, I am. I'm going to keep digging for it. I know it's there. So let's do it together. It's, it's, it works better that way. Over and out, friends. I love you. Thank you. Christine, I love you. Thanks to my moderators. Without this, this would be different without you guys and everybody that comes here.